So if you guys haven't noticed since the release of my last video, they made a lot of different changes to farming exotics. And that's because they made some small changes to improve the quality of life for us as gamers in farming these exotics. So don't worry, in this video, I'm gonna try to go over every single one. And who doesn't really want their wall to look like this, right? You wanna be able to walk through your walls and be like, wow, I have every single exotic in the Division 2 at the moment, right? Whether it's in Division 2 or it's with Expansion Warlords in New York, which you can see that I am missing one, and we'll talk about that one in this video too. So let's get into it and talk about how do you get exotics overall. So the very first way that you guys could be getting exotics is by target farming. You hit up on the D-pad, you see where the loot is, whether you're farming exotics or gear, you're gonna look for that specific weapon logo. So right here we have ARs in the DZ, pistols right there, and we have shotguns there. Now, if you're looking for gear, well, you'll look for the gear symbol, right? Backpack symbol, um, chest. You will be looking for those symbols if you're specifically farming for gear. That's called target farming exotics. The next way to get specific exotics are going to be from the raid. You have two raids. You have Operation Iron Horse and Operation Dark Hours. There are three exotics you can get from these raids. One from Dark Hours and two come from Iron Horse. So three exotics are raid exclusive. So you have to complete the raid. There's also an exotic that you have to complete mission. So it's mission exclusive. There's, you have to complete a legendary mission to get that exotic. One of the easiest way they added to get exotics was from your weekly caches. For doing a, a weekly legendary, doing one legendary, completing it, you get a, if there's a weekly project for that. And then for donating, there is a project you can donate weekly and get an exotic cache. So you can get two exotics on a character weekly guaranteed by doing that. The next place you guys can get exotic is the summit. Yes, this is another great way to farm. If you don't want to farm the open world, I've heard a lot of people having really good luck farming the summit for even weapons like the Bighorn, which we'll cover in a few. And the final way is quest. Yes, there are a few exotics that you need to complete their quest line before they will drop in the target loot pool. So that is as of right now, that might change in the future, but as of right now, there are still a few that you complete the quest as soon as you complete it, it'll be in the targeted loop. And the final way, of course, is seasons, right? Every season, you have the season pass, right, that has exotics in there. You also have all the events they have throughout the season that will have exotics in there as a reward. So there's a couple different ways that you can get exotics just from doing the season itself. So let's dive into it. The first exotic we're gonna be talking about is the Diamondback. The Diamondback is an exotic rifle that you get from completing Kenley College. That is a guaranteed item you will get once you complete all three phases you go to the church you open up the loot box and it will be in there for you now once you get it it will be added to the target loot pool and then you can go farm rifles wherever you see the symbol right here you will be able to find that rifle so the chatter box is a quest item remember i told you about those quest items you need to get three parts to it you get them from hyena boxes and i'll put a link to the exact location of those boxes the exact completion of this quest so you guys can see how to do that once you have all three of those parts you need to get the blueprint then you can craft it and then after you have it right it'll be in the target loot pool and then that's when you can go farm where the smgs are and you'll have a chance for it to drop so if you already have the chatterbox all you have to do is now farm where the smgs are and that's where it will drop again now the eagle bear now that is probably one of the exotics most people wanted to get when it first came out this actually comes from the operation dark hours raid yes the, this is a raid exclusive now it has a one percent chance from dropping from the bosses and i believe a 10 percent chance of dropping from this box as you saw here so the box is more likely where you will get it and where most people end up getting it now the Liberty is another quest item. This is one that you do have to get all the parts for before it will drop in the targeted loot pool unless they change this. But as of right now, um, you must have it first. Once you have it, you can farm them in the open world. Just look for the symbol and that's where you'll be able to get another one. So if you're looking for another Liberty, just look for the pistol symbol and targeted farming and that's where you will be able to get this bad boy. The next exotic is going to be the Merciless. Now, there are two versions of this, and I'll explain in a second. So the Merciless is the one you can farm for. All you have to do is look for the rifle symbol, and this is where you're going to be able to get it in 10.1. That's the big change they did. So just look for the rifle symbol, whether you see it in the DC map or Warlords of New York map. The Sweet Dreams is another one that has two versions of it. That's a shotgun, exotic shotgun. All you have to do is target farm it. Look for the shotgun symbol, whether it's a mission or whether it's control points, 
the open part all you have to do is look for the shotgun symbol today it's a mission when i'm filming this video so that's where you would farm it now like i said there's two versions you also have the roofless which is another version of merciless the lullaby which is another version of the sweet dreams they are just skins so they're in these two slots so if you don't see these two slots that means you either didn't do the pre-order or you didn't get the add-on pack if you're all about just collecting everything which are the same exact guns you just want the skins for them well, you can get this deluxe pack, and that's how you guys can end up getting it if you just got the game. So if you're looking to fill your wall up and you just want to have them, remember, they're the same thing as the Merciless and the Sweet Dreams. So you do not have to get this. This is just in case you want to fill your wall up all the way. The next item we're going to get into is the Chameleon. It's an exotic assault rifle, and this is probably a fan favorite. A lot of people liked it after the buff. Now, currently, if you look at our map, it's in the DZ, and you can also farm it. You can also farm it. Um, they have this mission right here. So wherever you see the assault rifle symbol is where this item will drop. It's a target farm exotic. The next exotic is an LMG. It's the Pestilence. And now this weapon right here is a pretty bad boy. I like this one. I, I really do like this one. A lot of people like this one. Now this used to be a DZ exclusive. But recently people have been telling me that they can get, they've gotten it in the open world. So if you're farming for it, look for the LMG symbol. And you're most likely going to get it now the final weapon on this wall is the nemesis now the nemesis is a quest item that you have to do and it's kind of time gated but once you do get it you can just farm the open world to get a second one just from target farming and that's where you most likely will get another one if you're looking for another one but you do have to complete the quest unless they change that before it goes to your target loop the next item we're going to be talking about is the Coyote Mask. Now, this used to only drop from the boss named Coyote at Jefferson Trade Center, but now it was added to the target farming area. So now you just have to look for the mask symbol. Wherever you see that mask symbol, you will be able to get this. Currently, it's in Warlords in New York, so that's where you would farm. Now, the other exotic mask we have is the Bio Mask. Now, this was a newer exotic that unlocked at level 90 with the Season 2 Pass, but it also can be found in the targeted loot rotation so look for that mass symbol and keep farming we have an exotic chess piece which is great for team play so if you're looking at getting this one this one is also a targeted loot farm location in 10.1 so just go to your targeted farm area look for this big chess symbol right here this would be all the control points so all the control points activities some of the boxes might even have a chance but anything in this area has a chance of dropping that exotic chest piece because you're looking for the chest symbol. We dive into the holsters. There are two holsters right now. We have the Imperial Dynasty holster. Now this is one of the newer exotics. Now this one drops from target farming. They changed it from just being in a mission. They also added to target farming. So just look for the holster symbol anywhere on the map and farm that area if you're looking for this holster right here. Now I know we do have another holster. Now this is another quest item. Remember for all the ones that I do say there's a quest item, I will have a link for the exact quest because some of them are a little bit longer to fit in this video. So I will have a link for that specific item in the description. So definitely look out for that and that way you can find that. Now once you do craft it, you can always just go to the open world and target farm it over and over. You don't have to do the quest over and over. Now for our next two items, they are knee pads. We have the ninja bike knee pads and then we also have the Sawyer knee pads. Both of these can be found in the open world. The ninja bike knee pads used to be DC, DZ only exclusive, but recently I've been talking to people who have gotten this in the open world. So I think they actually added this. So both of these, all you have to do is look for the knee pads. Wherever you see the knee pads on the map is where you would find this. The next item are the BTSU gloves, an exotic item. These gloves, skill players love them, healers love them. But yeah, these can be found wherever you see the glove symbol. This is also a targeted loot item. The next item is the Costa Go Bag. This is an exotic backpack. Now this is great for skill builds. Now this one is can be found in targeted loot. Now you can still find this a lot just by doing those crates, you know, the crates, the hyena crates, um, any of those crates that you see laying around with that require key can still drop it, but I now they added it to the targeted loot. So you see what the backpack symbol is? If you see any of those backpack symbols on the map, you can farm that area and have a chance of this backpack dropping. Now we are in New York City now and there are seven new exotics from Warlords in New York that you guys can get. You guys can see them on my wall. So we'll dive into it right now. First exotic is the Lady Death. This was one of the hardest exotics for me to get. This used to only drop in the open world bosses in New York City. 
but now you can target farm this bad boy. Just look for where the SMG symbol is, whether it's on a mission, whether it's in control points, just farm that SMG symbol and that's where you will find it. The next exotic is an LMG, the Bullet King, the one you never have to reload. It's all gold plated and now this one was added to target farming. So just look for the LMG symbol wherever it is and that's where you're gonna be able to find this one now. Now the Ravenous is an Iron Horse Raid exclusive rifle. This drops 10% chance from the box at the very end that you saw I got and I believe a 1% chance from each boss in between. The next item on the wall is the Regulus. It's an exotic revolver, right? So this one comes from when you beat the new Iron Horse Raid, you will get a blueprint project. Now one is gonna be to donate the future pieces and the other one's gonna be to donate the foundry pieces. Now as soon as you donate one piece, chest, backpack, knee pads, gloves, you will get the next part to this project will be you have to donate exotic components. Now to get these exotic components you have to complete the raid on a fresh start where you haven't collected anything from the bosses and each boss will drop an exotic component and then the final component will come from the box at the end. Now once you do have every single component, you just have to don donate to the project and then you'll get the blueprint. And then once you have the blueprint, you can craft the exotic revolver. So we have some of the newer exotics that did just come out recently and I'll explain those right now. So we have the Backfire. This is one of the newer SMGs, exotic SMGs that came out. And this one can be found by just farming targeted loot areas with SMGs, whether you wanna do it in the open world or you wanna do it in the summit. That's really up to you. The next exotic is the capacitor. Now this one is available in season four track, so you need to unlock it in the seasonal track first and then it will be added to the open world. But if you are watching this after the season, it will be available in open world target loot plus the summit. We also have the Scorpio, which is also part of this season. So the same thing, you can find this in the open world once you unlock it. Yes, you unlock it in this seasonal track. But if you're watching this after season four has completed, it will be added to the open world loot pool without having to unlock it in the seasonal track and you can find it in the summit. Now this item right here is also part of season four. It's the waveform holster, amazing four skill builds. So if you're looking for this one, complete season four and then it'll be added to the open world loop pool or even the summit. Now, if you are watching this just like the previous two items after the season's already over, well then you can just find this in the open world or in the summit it will be automatically added in there. And now the final exotic is the Bighorn. Now the Bighorn is one of those exotics that is exclusive to a certain area and it's legendary mission. So you can only get this Bighorn from either of the legendary missions and that's where this exotic will drop. So you have to put it, the mission on legendary, the stronghold on legendary, and hopefully you guys can get it. And that is how you get every single exotic in the division two currently. Now, remember, for those quest exotics, I will have a link for those specific items so that way you guys can take a look at it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, leave a thumbs up. I will see you guys in the next Division 2 video, but until then, nothing but skills is out.